डेयर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सेवंथ क्लास आई एम बशर अहमद गनाई एच ओ डी डाइट बीरवा टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट वाटर अ सब्सटेंस ऑन दिस प्लैनेट व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन मैक्सिमम अमाउंट अर्थ इज कॉल्ड वाटर प्लैनेट एज फोर फिफ्थ ऑफ इट्स सरफेस इज कवर्ड बाय वाटर वाटर ऑकर्स इज वेपर्स इन एयर मॉइस्चर इन सोइल हिडन अंडरनीथ as ground water present on surface in oceans lakes rivers etc water is essential for the existence of life on earth growth and development of plants and animals requires water water as a natural resource all the life processes require water as it being a universal solvent a prime natural resource about 97% of water is in oceans and 3% as fresh water present in rivers lakes springs etc water is made available to water bodies such as lakes streams ponds rivers groundwater by water cycle which is also known as hydrological cycle the disturbance in water cycle by main has resulted in water shortage now there are various sources of water we'll discuss them one by one first source is rivers and lakes they are fresh water resources the amount of water in these resources changes from time to time and depends on the amount of rainfall most of the rivers such as jhelum in kashmir have snow bound mountains as their resource during dry conditions the water level in these resources falls which often results in water scarcity so the rain water is collected stored in reservoirs such as ponds small lakes as the dams have been constructed on rivers and the wa- and this water is used for different purposes now there are various fresh water lakes in jammu region there is sanasar lak udampur mansar and soransar lak in kashmir region we have dal lak in srinagar wolar lak in bandipur mansar lak in safapur of gondarbal district Now in Ladakh region we have Pangong Lake, Le, Samur Lake, Le. Now next source is sea water. Oceans, seas are the largest reservoir of natural water. As streams, rivers flow into them, the sea water is salty. About 3.5 percent salt is present in sea water because of this salty nature human beings cannot use this water for drinking and manufacturing purposes third source is ground water the water which is stored underground is known as ground water during rains or snow the water seeps into the ground and after trickling down gets collected above the water tight layer called as aquifer while as the upper limit of this zone is called water table the water from the water table is made available to the people of stay cities and towns by drilling wells tube wells etc the fourth form or source rather is spring water the ground water may not rise until it finds a way out of the surface to form a flow of water called a spring the spring water is clean fresh and cold such as chishma shahi and serenaya achbal in anantnag district how are some springs are hot such as tatapani in jammu region now important support for sustaining life every organism such as plants animals and humans need water for sustenance 
the humans require more water than animals and plants water in living things about 65 percent of water weight of the body is due to water in humans similarly the other organisms have different percentage of water in their body for example elephant have 70 percent water corn maize 75 percent water in potato there is 80 percent water while as in tomato it is 95 percent the nutrients required by the organisms gets first dissolved in water and then take acute loss of water from the body results in dehydration which ultimately ultimately leads to the death of an organism human beings need 2.4 liters of water per day which are met by taking water with food or with beverages such as tea coffee etc water is also needed in circulation of blood and excretion of wastes from the body and also regulates body temperature by sweating next is water in the homes about 260 liters of water per family is used for cleaning cooking bathing and carrying away the wastes next is water for irrigation in india irrigation water constitutes 97 percent of all uses and accounts for 90 percent of human use of fresh water most of the plants cultivated by men require huge quantity of water in jnk irrigation is done through canals wells and tanks tube wells rivers springs seeds of many plants are dispersed that's transported from one place to another place by water water for industries industries use water for cooling heating and washing of different equipments water for power water is used to generate electricity for lighting our homes besides running various factories industries and other purposes the stations are known as hydroelectric power station some hydroelectric power stations in jnk are the sindh valley hydroelectric project mora hydroelectric power station odi lower jalim hydro hydel project uri hydro electric dam dul hasti hydroelectric power project now water for transport and recreation water is used for transport of different goods nowadays the water transport for carrying heavy and bulky products such as machinery coal grains and oil various recreation areas have been built by men using different transport now water exists in three forms that is there are three states of water solid liquid and gases when water is kept in the freezer or refrigerator it solidifies into ice it occurs at a freezing temperature that is zero degree centigrade freezing point when ice is kept open it starts melting and changes into liquid state that's water and when water is heated it changes into gas state at a particular temperature called boiling point that's 100 degree centigrade thus the phenomenon of change of one state of water into another and back to the original state is called interchangeability the water as a solvent many substances get dissolved in water the water which gets 
evaporated, is in pure form. It forms clouds when falls as rain and many gases get dissolved in it and on reaching the ground several minerals get dissolved in it thus acting as a universal solvent the dissolved oxygen in water is taken by fish and other, other aquatic animals with the help of gills similarly the aquatic plants use dissolved carbon dioxide for preparation of their food by the process of photosynthesis. With the increase in temperature, the solubility of the gases decreases in water, which results in death of fishes and other aquatic organisms. Now, water cycle in nature. It is a regular exchange of water between the surface of earth and atmosphere. Vap vapors passing into the air cool down and form clouds. Clouds produce rain and snow. The excess water available over land ultimately reaches oceans through rivers and other forms of water flow. This cycle goes on and is called water cycle in nature. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.